Most red light therapy companies are overestimating their light intensity and today I'm going to prove it to you. So in this video, I'm going to show you why red light therapy companies are overestimating their light intensities, how they are doing this, and then we're going to jump into a live test where I'm actually going to test a product against its claims. At the end of this video, I'm also going to show you how you can tell if the company is being honest about their light intensity claims. So I want you to imagine that you are starting a red light therapy company. Now I'm going to assume that you are a good person and the way you might go about this is to create a product that is really effective, you get great results with the first people who try it, and then you use their testimonials as proof for why your product works. Now unfortunately, because there are so many clinical studies on red light therapy, there is another devious route that you could take. In a highly unregulated industry, there is nothing stopping you from creating a normal red light, claiming it to be a red light therapy device, and then using the 8,000 plus published studies as the only evidence for why your product works. So what 95% of the home-based red light therapy products are doing is creating fancy party lights. And then they will use clinical studies as proof for why their product would work. And because they can design a product that doesn't have a very high light intensity, their production costs are extremely low, and that means their profit margins are very high. Now, how are they making these exaggerated claims? I want you to imagine that you walk into a stadium. Your eyes are closed, but you hear some really loud shouting, so you assume that the entire stadium is full. Then, when you open your eyes, you see that there are two people who arrived early and are just having an argument with each other, and because they're making a loud noise, you assumed it was full, but there's actually no one else in the stadium. So when you measure the light intensity of a red light therapy device, there's two ways that you can do it. The one is basically closing your eyes and listening for the loudest noise, and that is using a solar meter. Now a solar meter, as the name suggests, measures sunlight, and what happens is when you measure a red light therapy device, it will see a really bright red light, and then it assumes that it's measuring sunlight. So it presumes that there is green, there is blue, there is orange, there is near infrared, there's far infrared. It adds in all the other people, assuming that those bright red lights are indication that this is very bright sunlight. Now a proper spectrometer is basically walking into the stadium with your eyes open. You see that there are two people shouting at each other and you don't assume that the rest of the stadium is full. So a spectrometer will measure each color on its own. It doesn't assume that it is sunlight. Now how bad is this overestimation? Now we're going to jump into a live test of a product. For obvious reasons, I can't disclose the company name, but I'm going to show you what they claimed was their light intensity and then what I measure with my spectrometer. All right, so this device claims that at five inches, it has a light intensity of 60 milliwatts per centimeter squared. All right, so here we have the device and I've measured out five inches, which is 12.7 centimeters. I've actually gone a little bit closer just to give it the benefit of the doubt. And then we're going to elevate the spectrometer so that it's in the middle of the device, that is to be fair. And then also so I can hold it exactly perpendicular to the light that's coming in. So I'm using the Hopi color spectrometer here. You can see it's on zero. And then we're gonna hold it. We're even gonna go a little bit closer, flat. Okay, so we had, let's, before we go look at this, we had a claim of over here, five inches that it would be 60 milliwatts per centimeter squared. The Hopper color is telling us that we have 14.38. This number over here in line with this, milliwatts per centimeter squared. Look, it's great, it doesn't have flicker. It's got some nice wavelengths, but that light intensity is 25% of the actual claim. So how do you tell if the company is being honest about their light intensity claims? I've been in the industry long enough to know that any company that doesn't disclose what they used when measuring their light intensity directly on their website, it will be done with a solar meter. Any company that is actually designing a high quality device and measuring it with a spectrometer is going to be extremely proud of it. It costs a lot more money to create a product that actually is of clinical grade 
so they're not going to be quiet about it. Now, if you do want to find out which clinical grade device would be best suited for what you want to achieve with red light therapy, in the link of this video, there is a quiz. And if you take this, it's about a minute to fill in. It'll ask you a couple of questions about what you want to achieve with red light therapy. And then at the end of it, you will get a device recommendation with a device that is measured with a spectrometer. So you know you can actually get results in the comfort of your own home.